Hi everybody, today we're going to check out how to turn your wing into a controller for your DAW. Welcome to another Quick Wing Tips. If you like that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe for more content about the wing and live sound. And if you guys want to support me a little bit, think about becoming a member or a super member. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about DAW control. Many people have a hard time setting up their wing as a control surface for a DAW. DAW meaning digital audio workstation like Cubase, Ableton Live, Logic, Pro Tool, Nuendo, Reaper, or Studio One. The first step is to connect your console from the USB in the back into your computer. You can use any USB port that you have available. You can even go through a hub if you want to. The port in the back of the wing is a USB 2.0. And I'm gonna guess nobody's still using USB 1 ports, so you're pretty much good to go if you have a port 3.0, 3.12, USB-C2 adapter. It's just gonna work. On the console itself, the process is fairly simple. We're gonna go into the setup menu here. We're gonna go into DAW. We will first make sure that the DAW is enabled. We wanna make sure that our connection is gonna go through USB because the console also have DIN port or MIDI port in the back if you wanna go MIDI in and out to an interface, but keep it simple, just use USB. Then select the emulation mode that you wanna have. So here we're gonna use MCU. Use upper CC for DAW. To me, this was on by default. I'm just gonna leave it on because it doesn't cause me any problem. After that, we have disable wheel during play. Uh, we're talking about this wheel right here. When you are playing back a session, you cannot use it, but as soon as you stop, you can scroll into your session. In the configuration menu here, this is where you select how much of the console are you giving to your DAW. Uh, you can use a single MCU that will be just the center section with the knob on the right. You can go with an extender, so it will be uh, one section, the center section and the knob, or you can go full on. It's basically emulating two extender with the central section. It's just grabbing all the knobs and fader that you have available in front of you. Once you set your mind on the size of the interface that you want to emulate here, you can select a preset for DAW that you're using. Uh, I'm personally a Logic user, but like I said before, we have option for Cubase, uh, Ableton Live, Logic, Nuendo, Pro Tool, Reaper, and Studio One. I know Studio One was a big request. It's in there. Uh, select your DAW, press load. Are you sure you want to load? Yes. When you click confirm, and you see the DAW enable here on top on, you think that you did something wrong and because the console is still into audio console mode and nothing happened. Actually, the secret is right there. You need to turn on the remote control DAW, that little blue button. The console is now blue and if you have a session open in your DAW, whatever it is, uh, it should appear on the left section on the, of the console. I can now change the DAW uh, channel strip with the arrow left and right. So it's gonna scroll through my session. I will have all my channel that are in there moving from left to right. And even if it says four on your arrow, it moves one at a time. In the custom control section, uh, you have your DAW control. So those are the one that you uh, will use most of the time. So stop, play, uh, cycle, record, rewind, forward, your beat, display information, and undo. Really useful one. You can change the custom control that you have available there. If you just press on the view button, DAW layer one, you have all the options that you can see here. If you want to customize your own DAW control for some reason, um, I personally leave it as is, but feel free to make it your own. If things did not pan out as easy as they did for me, be on the lookout for a specific video on how to integrate 
a control surface in your DKW because if you did what I just did on the wing and it's not responsive it's probably your DAW that is not catching up that you have an interface plugged in so I know for Reaper you need to add it I don't know for all the other DAW available here but be on the lookout for that I'm just gonna cover the wing side for now I hope this will cover most of the question that you had about DAW control in the wing. Until the next one, please take care of yourself and I'll see you guys later.